Welcome back to another Massey Ferguson repair video. Today I'm going to do a complete overhaul of the fuel system. Uh, this tractor here, it's been doing okay, but when it gets to running for a while, it does have fuel problems. And the reason I suspect that is I get a bunch of junk in this fuel filter. Uh, if you can see, this is a fuel filter I hadn't had on too long, but a bunch of rust and dirt and debris gets caught in that fuel filter. And I know that fuel filter only catches some of it, and the rest is going into that carburetor. So... I know I need to clean out the carburetor, or in this case, replace it. Then I also need to clean out my fuel tank. So what I'm going to be doing is taking out this fuel tank and cleaning it, um, putting some prepper and some sealer inside this tank to get rid of some of this rust. Here's what I'm working with today. I'm going to be using this POR15 fuel tank sealer to seal up and remove some of the rust that's in this old tank. Now this stuff doesn't apply just to tractors. You can use it in trucks or other equipment. This is not a fast process though. This will be an all day or multi-day job. Um, the fuel tank sealer requires the metal prep as well as the degreaser. Here's the instructions for the fuel tank sealer. So it does require the degreaser and the metal prep. It did say that one pint would uh, cover approximately 12 gallon tank. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's probably pretty close to that, probably around a 10 gallon. But the degreaser, it says to mix one part hot water, one part degreaser, put it in the fuel tank, um, mix it around, allow it to sit two hours on every side so that all the surfaces are covered, completely dry it, then put the metal prep in, same thing, um, put it around, swash it around. Um, allow it to sit on each side for 30 minutes. Once that's completely dry, then you can use the fuel tank sealer um, to mix around, seal the tank, and drain it. But it has to w sit on there for and dry for 96 hours before you can put fuel back in there. So it, this will take a while. Pulling out the fuel tank on this old tractor is pretty simple. There's a few things you want to do before you get started. One is remove the battery so you have plenty of space over there. Uh, the next thing is obviously drain out all your gas. I like to put an inline fuel shutoff valve so that I can do that easily. I'm going to disconnect the line right here. This metal line goes back to my fuel tank so I can leave it and it'll come out with the tank. You'll want to take off, take off your fuel gauge sensor right here. It's the wire that just goes back to your panel. Take that off. Then there's two screws or two bolts here in the back there and then there's two in the front there's supposed to be two in the front um, I'm missing one so I'll show you what it looks like over here on this side so if you look right here this bolt right here holds on your fuel tank in the front so take those four off and you should be able to lift it right up Now that I got the fuel tank off, I'll show you how this was sitting in there. You can see how simple it was. Just two bolts here in the back and two in the front. Now, I did notice that this wasn't attached to anything. There's two holes that sit on top of those bolts. And then that sets the position. Um, set it around in there. So that sets the position right there. And now these, these holes should line up. And so that was the other two in the front. But you can just see... Now you can get it to your cover, to your engine right there, and a pretty simple tractor. But just from the outside, it doesn't look too bad of a fuel tank, but I unscrewed this. Look at all that, all that rust that's coming out. So all that was getting into my carburetor, clogging it up. And you just see, it's a lot of rust in there, so. We'll see how this fuel tank sealer works and hopefully we can clean out all that rust.
I completed the first two steps using the degreaser and the metal prep. Those processes took about three to four days by the time I did it and let everything dry. I also used it on the exterior of this gas tank just to clean it up for looks. Now it's time for the fuel tank sealer. You'll want to use gloves for this. I'll open it up and show you what it looks like. It does have a metallic color or some metal properties inside. Now that I've put everything together, I'll show you what the tank looks like on the inside. So I used the cleaner on the outside of the tank and it did pretty well. But on the inside of the tank where we used the sealer, uh, you can see that it did a pretty good job as well. So that's what the inside of the tank looks like. There on the sides, you can see where it looks yellow or green. That's just because I put gasoline in it. So that's the, the gas. And I have my new gas lines ran through here, put new hoses, put a new switch, put a new filter, new carburetor. So I'm about to crank it up and let's see what we got. <laughs> 